So today on the table, I've got a Samsung Tab A 10.1 2019 edition with the model number T510 or T515. I've had it on my blue heat pad now, cooking at 60 degrees Celsius for about five minutes. And now I'm using a thin metal pry tool that I've dipped in isopropyl alcohol to soften the adhesive. And I'll be prying that around the outer perimeter. With this, it's best to start up the top near the webcam, mainly because the various flex connectors or the single flex connector is down the very bottom of the screen near the charger port. So I've managed to lift it up enough just to get my nail under there. So I'm gonna use a little, tooth, uh, little guitar pick, jam that in there, and I'll proceed to use some more isopropyl on a thin pry tool and keep going around it. Actually, I did tell a lie about the temperature. I've got it at 75 degrees Celsius, not 60. Now, you don't have to be too concerned about damaging the board underneath, as there is a plastic uh, mid-frame inside of it. So there we can see the glass and the display. This isn't a glass-only repair, so I will be doing the glass and the display as one piece. I would assume that there would be two pieces available, but time versus cost, this seems to be the winner. And right now the adhesive is then able to be pulled out of the side of the machine. So that's one half of, or one side out of four done. It's a bit tacky. go so I should be able to pull on the screen and almost lift it completely out from here And bingo, now that I'm in here, there is a small little flex connector that you do have to disconnect. And what I'm going to do now is zoom in on that just so you can see how it attaches and how you should detach it. Now here we go, I'll zoom in, we'll see what I'm talking about. So we've got the flex connector with LCD written on it. That pushes up and in. I'll just do that with a pair of tweezers. The adhesive is making it a little bit more difficult, so I think I'll remove that in just a second. There we go. There we go, so that clips up and over, and to open it, there we go, so you can lift from the cable towards the top of the screen, and then it should be able to be removed from there. So compared to earlier models of the tab, it's pretty straightforward to actually remove the display. Granted, it is more expensive repair, purely because you've got to do the display and the glass at the same time so that definitely does suck but overall the job is easier because of it so here's my replacement display now one thing I did notice is where the bit of masking tape is is the digitizer flex connector so there is one part that you do have to swap off your old screen and put or swap from your old to the new so I'll just set that up now. Now 
So this little PCB in the center of the screen right now with the flex connector and the tape over it, if I compare it with what I've got here on the new one, you'll definitely be seeing the difference. So I'll remove this tape. You can kind of see what's missing there. So we'll be switching this over. Now I do use tweezers in this repair. If you're not overly comfortable or this is your first repair, I'll definitely recommend to use the plastic pry tool instead, just to reduce your chance of possibly damaging it. Go one, two, so I'll move that over. And what I'm doing here is just drip, uh, dribbling some isopropyl under the bottom of that PCB. As you can see, it's going underneath it, just to be able to soften it and be able to lift it up. So my flat pry tool is kind of failing me, so I will be switching it over to just the old-fashioned tweezers, which again, I wouldn't recommend doing or trying to lift it up with tweezers. Potentially the guitar pick may do it. There we go. So I will need to use some new adhesive. As right now this is just no good. The isopropyl's destroyed it. So I'll just be using some double-sided tape to adhere it down. So now with the little daughter flex cable connected and the digitizer connected, you just kind of want to stretch it out just a little bit so that it can make good contact or stretch it out a little bit just so it doesn't get snagged as you put it back into the actual housing. And also these two plastic rubbery tabs, I do recommend swapping them over. I think that's just so the screen doesn't bottom out when you push it in rather than having the electronics get smashed as you push the new display into its frame. So I definitely recommend swapping them over. With a little bit of heat, they lift it up quite easily, with not really much of a challenge. So you should be able to swap them over without tearing them. And then from here, I need to put the little flex connector tape back over it. Up the top here. And then from there, I'm going to be using some B or some frame adhesive and sticking it down.
Now this machine was actually on while I was doing the swap, mainly because the display itself was physically cracked. I wasn't able to actually power the device down to do it. Definitely if you have the option to turn it off, definitely go ahead with that. Now from here, I know the, script, the new touch panel is working, so I'm going to use some B7000 or 700 and put that around the outer perimeter just to glue it into position. Usually use a fair bit of this stuff, I find it pretty good, but also releases when you need it to. So I will go around the whole frame and stick that down. Then from here it's pretty much done. So I'm going to let the video play out from here while I finish up this repair. I hope you find this handy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.